I receive hundreds of email asking one single question and that is how should I progress in my career? What exactly should, by, should be my aim while I'm in my graduation or post graduation or PhD or postdoc? So what we did is we decided to create a video out of this question so that I can answer everybody once for all what exactly you should look forward to while you are in your bachelor's or master's or PhD. So let's start with the bachelor's. Okay, so you have just passed out of your, of your plus two, you're doing your bachelor's in life sciences, BSc. Now, while you're doing that, it is not necessary to do a particular specialization. This is the time to build your foundation and foundation is the key to your future success. So look at core biology, basics, basic sciences, as well as applied sciences and strengthen it. The more you strengthen it today will help you propel towards the future career. Okay, so one very important thing which you have to do is right now you have to build your foundation. This is not the time to expect results. This is the time to put in effort and keep doing consistently. Now, while you're doing your bachelor's, it is important to cross skill upskill and reskill on stuff which is already there in the syllabus and stuff which is not there in the syllabus. For example, there will be tools, techniques and technologies which are not there in the syllabus but is trending. For example, bioinformatics, CRISPR, cancer biology, uh, space biology, uh, spectroscopy, many things which is not a part of your current syllabus in bachelor's but it is a demand of the industry like HPLC, LCMS, all these things. Okay. Now let's move on to the next when you are doing post graduation. So if you are doing a post graduation, this is the time to further strengthen your basic sciences, basic foundation. Now, why do I say that? Because you can't become a scientist immediately after your master's. If you want to become a scientist, you have to definitely pursue your PhD. PhD is specialization, so there is no need of doing a specialization in master's unless you really want to do PhD on that topic only. For example, if you want to, you know, specialize at the beginning of your master itself, you are sure that you want to do, do you know, pursue your PhD in human genetics, so obviously you can take MSc human genetics. But if you really want to keep your uh, horizon broadened, you don't need to do that. You can always, you know, do the specialization in PhD time. Right now in a master's time, you, ju you just have to strengthen your skill, strengthen your uh, foundation, reskill, upskill, cross skill on various functionalities, various tools, technologies and techniques which are trending, which are going to be the tradition of future biological research. Okay. Now, let me tell you 77% of bio Technica subscribers want to become a research scientist and this video is targeted towards each one of you. Please listen to it carefully what I am going to say next. The next is PhD. Now the moment you enroll into PhD, please make sure that you are enrolling in a PhD which is a, in a good organization. Please don't enroll into a PhD just for namesake because you know the university will grant you a degree. PhD is not a degree. Okay, PhD is something which propels you towards your dream career. Okay, PhD is the rocket. Okay, PhD is the real rocket which will take you to be, uh, become a, a real scientist in the real world. So you have to do it from a, the right organization on the right topic, specialize in the right uh, domain which you will be able to commercialize in the future. Now this is the time to not just specialize but also to think how would you special you know commercialize your specialization. Okay, so that's something most of the PhD students um, uh, make a mistake. They don't think about this and then that is where all their research work goes into the dustbin. I remember Elon Musk saying that why 99.99% of the research papers are unusable and non-commercializable. The truth is because PhDs don't think that way. Okay, they just uh, jump in and uh, start doing research. No, please pick your topic which can be commercializable or a company can be built out of it or you can sell it a as a research or a patent to some other company. Okay, that is how you grow. Okay, and now, now you should know this that if you are MSc zoology, it's not that you cannot do a PhD in chemistry or a cross functional chemistry, say biochemistry or um, something which is on the borderline of uh, zoology or chemistry or botany. You can always do specialization anything and everything whichever you choose but you have to be willing to do that you have to find the right organization which is willing to fund you and your PhD okay now let's move on to the next which is research scientist now the moment you have finished your PhD okay 
you have to by the time you have finished your phd make sure your commun communication skills your networking skills are in place your body language is right and you are you are reaching out to the right people you know if you have the right network you can reach out to the right people and you can pull off things which others cannot imagine so this is where you become a scientist you have uh, companies in various domains so while you are doing phd you can make a list of companies which uh, where you can work as a scientist and start networking with people there and the moment you have done you apply there and get selected while you while you start working as a scientist don't just stop there life is not about being static life is about keep moving forward life is like a river so you have to you know keep specializing keep uh, earning patents keep publishing research papers so that you keep growing personally as well as professionally in your career and the right when the right time comes your organization will reward you with a higher salary and perks and promotions so very important thing is you have to learn new trends you have to learn new technologies and techniques and nobody is going to tell you come to tell you that okay do this except one organization and that is biotechnica we are always uh, future um, looking future uh, forward and we always encourage our students to become scientists and pursue a research career which can be rewarding but most of our students end up becoming a victim of the internet what they do they go on internet just look at random uh, people commenting on random things venting out frustrations and they feel that that is the truth which is not the case somebody is frustrated and he just wrote bad things about suppose phd or masters or the entire field you will take that as a truth but will you believe a stranger on the internet about anything like if i'm going from uh, bangalore to chennai will i rely on google maps more or a stranger who tells me go right or go left right i have to rely on google maps the same way your mentor is your google map okay he will show you the right direction these random internet strangers are just venting off their frustration their frustration cannot be your direction right so do not listen to that instead focus on this research timeline which i have just now shown and please go ahead ask me questions i'm here to answer you i have been doing that for past 17 years i'm ready to do that for the next 37 years also but with my only aim that is to help you help subscribers like you so that you can grow in your research career thank you so much for watching this video it was fun interacting with you all of you let me know in the comment section what more you want to know from me and we will be sure to make a video out of it thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then take care namaskar